accurate driving is extremely important. There's a very old saying, failure to plan and I plan to fail. You don't have to be a mechanical engineer in order to check some of the, uh, the items in the engine department. And at our Suzu we make it very simple for you. And we're going to start over on the left hand side with some of the levels. Very important, your brake fluid level. All the bottles have got very clear indications, measuring indications, them, so you can stand back and you can see them. Um, gives you a minimum and a maximum, so that's very important. You want to check that your radiator has got water. You want to check that the pipes, the radiator pipes, the turbo pipes are all clamped on tightly, and that's very simple. That's just a basic uh, screwdriver. You want to check that you, your hydraulic fuels for your clutch are at the right level and most importantly that your engine has got oil. And those are very, very simple to check with the dipstick. And then the last of the fluids you would check would be the window wiper washer bottle. Very important to check your undercarriage of your vehicle as well. You do the necessary exercise, you go down, you make sure that there's nothing that hangs out at the bottom. What's very nice on the Isuzu's is we've got undercarriage protection, although you don't just always depend on that. You make sure that that is still in place whenever you want to wander off and go and enjoy yourself in the, in the bush. Why are tyres so important on any vehicle, whether it's an on-road or off-road vehicle? Because at the end of the day, it's the point where the vehicle actually touches the road. And I'd like to show you just some of the basics that we do before we go on a trip. The first thing you want to check, you want to check that the tyre is wearing even right across the entire width of the tyre. You want to check both sides of the side wall of the tyre. You want to also check that the tyre has got a valve cap on it. Final thing you want to check that you have the correct tyre tread wear uh, depth. The tyre does a fantastic job and if they are maintained properly, the pressures are checked correctly, you will have no problems with your tyres. As part of your basic vehicle preparation, you will want to take the following with you. Very, very important is your medical kit. Then, one of the most important things because a lot of people get stuck they think they're the pros, but not always. They get stuck because they must judge themselves with situations. My recovery bag, it's got all the necessary ropes, all the necessary shackles, gloves in it, to make sure that you can get yourself out of a situation where you might be stuck in mud and so forth. So, my recovery bag. And then last but not least, the airlift jack. If it happens that I might have to change a wheel on a vehicle, airlift jack, I can raise this vehicle and I can change two wheels at any given moment without having to worry that something might go wrong. You need the necessary spanners and your extensions that clips into each other to eventually get your nice long extension that hooks into your jack to eventually jack your vehicle up. Very important piece of equipment is your triangle, especially at night if you end up next to the road. I always just keep a uh, tie down strap at hand as well. You never know when you need to use this. This is a very handy piece of equipment to have around you. One of the most important straps, one of the first things that you will always want to buy whenever it comes to recovery equipment will be a recovery rope. It's just always a green strap. And what's important is that you need to make sure that it's, a, again, a rated strap. And to be able to know what rating it's got on the yellow tagging that's on the rope, you'll be able to see what kind of weight this, this tow rope can handle. Then, the most important will be what we call a kinetic strap. This is what will really get you out of any situation. The vehicle now ends up digging itself in all the way up to the belly in the mud or in thick sand where you might sometimes not be able to get out. This will be the strap that will be able to get you out of that situation. And we'll show you a little bit later how the strap works. What a fantastic piece of equipment to have. So in a nutshell, a pre-trip inspection is of utmost importance. It just gives you the peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is in a safe roadworthy condition. 
that you're going to have fun on the weekend, wherever you might be going on a trail or a weekend away or cross border, that you're going to have fun, you're not going to damage your vehicle. And I think the most important thing is that you're going to bring yourself and your family home and your friends in, in one piece, having an awesome weekend driving these magnificent cars.